Hi, I'm Brett Sheffield from the LibraCast project, and I'm outstanding in my field. By that I mean I'm outstanding in my field. And the reason for that is I want to talk to you about somebody else who was outstanding in his field, uh, and who was in fact outstanding in track and field, uh, and that's Dick Fosbury. I heard the news uh, just uh, last night that Dick Fosbury had passed away on Sunday. And uh, I didn't hear the news at the time because uh, I was busy submitting the uh, Memorandum of Understanding for the LibraCast project to the NGI Ashore Fund, which I'm pleased to say we were accepted into. And uh, so uh, what what has Dick Fosbury got to do with LibraCast? Well, uh, Dick Fosbury is a bit of an inspiration for us in the LibraCast project. Um, in fact, I mentioned him in the very application for this NGI Ashore Fund, which NLNet has just accepted us into. Um, I'd encourage you, if you have an open source project, uh, you have an interesting idea, uh, for making a better next generation internet that you apply to one of the open calls uh, through NLNet and uh, you know try and get some some funding to move your project forward the process is very straightforward they will help you uh, don't be afraid to you know get in touch um, and uh, you know t talk to us if you want but better still talk to them uh, the guys at NLNet will help you. They want to find good projects uh, to fund. So, um, you know, we were very fortunate to be accepted into this uh, tranche of the, um, uh, this round of the NGI Ashore Fund. And uh, oddly enough, uh, we mentioned Dick Fosbury in our application. Um, you need to answer some questions uh, when you you fill in your application for the uh, for any of these open calls and uh, it's a fairly simple process but one of the questions is to uh, compare your project to other attempts to solve the same problem and uh, so uh, what I wrote was this TLDR we use multicast almost everything else uses unicast. Now, I could have stopped there, but um, I went on. I can mention Mbone or Cascade or peer-to-peer -peer or blockchain, but instead, let's talk about the sport of high jumping. At the 1968 Olympics, Dick Fosbury won gold in the high jump using a new jumping technique we now call the Fosbury flop. This was a whole new approach to jumping that involved arching the body over the bar so that the centre of gravity passes under the bar, allowing greater jump heights than had ever been seen before. No one else did this. All the experts, the coaches, the top athletes in the world did it the old way. They were all experts, and they were all wrong. Soon after that event, the approach took hold and it became the standard. Multicast is our Fosbury flop. Dick Fosbury used the same laws of physics that were available to anyone else at the time. He just noticed something that everyone else had missed and used it. Multicast has been around for a long time too, but the experts of today still think in terms of unicast, and in some cases IPv4. We aim to change that by proving that multicast is better in a lot of ways that matter. If we want a more scalable, human rights respecting and secure internet, we need multicast. Unicast has a source and destination address on every packet. Unicast therefore allows for geo-blocking and other rights infringing methods. Multicast does not. Today we watch live streaming events over the internet using Unicast. Various internet exchanges, IXPs, tweet about it when they reach some new peak traffic level during a popular event. This is insane. Multicast solved this problem decades ago. Even the broken multicast we have today can deal with this. Think of all the extra servers, networking equipment, CDNs and other unnecessary equipment and the carbon footprint that represents. Multicast is better for the environment. Multicast can lower costs, which is why this project will succeed where other efforts like IPv6 deployment have lagged.
If we can demonstrate the obvious benefits of multicast, including the billions of euros it can save, there is an irresistible incentive to deploy it globally. Now we can tell everyone this, but they won't believe us, nor should they. Like Dick Fosbury, we need to jump that bar and show you by building real-world applications that demonstrate the benefits of multicast. To do that, we need this funding. Thank you.